Hello. Our presentation will be on a genetic disease called alpha thalassemia. Alpha thalassemia is a genetic disease that affects the production of alpha globin in red blood cells. It is an autosomal recessive condition that is affected by the inheritance of two genes, HBA1 and HBA2, located on chromosome 16. Consequently, there are four alleles that are needed to produce normal amounts of alpha globin. This disease causes less functional hemoglobin to be produced, which results in fewer healthy red blood cells in the bloodstream. This also causes anemia, which can result in other symptoms. The most severe form of the disease results in the early, early death of the fetus in the womb. Alpha thalassemia is a common disease in certain parts of the world, particularly in the Mediterranean region where 15 to 30 percent of inhabitants are affected. In other parts of the world, for example in North Africa, India, and Central Asia, they have 3 to 5 percent of the population affected. HBA1 and HBA2 are two genes required to produce the correct amounts of the alpha subunits of hemoglobin. HBA1 expression results in the production of alpha-1 subunit, while HBA2 expression results in alpha-2 unit production. With these two alpha subunits, two beta subunits, and four heme groups make up the hemoglobin molecule, which is required to carry oxygen in red blood cells. Alpha thalassemia varies in severity as a result of different inheritance patterns. The severity of the phenotype varies depending on the number of non-functional alleles one has. In order to understand the function of the HBA1 gene in humans, we have to understand how they work in other model organisms. The phylogenetic tree shows the conservation of the HBA1 gene in these model organisms. For our experiment, we propose to use mouse as a model organism to study the function of the HBA1 gene. We propose to use CRISPR-Cas9 and Cree to knock out the HBA1 gene in the bone marrow cells. We will use CRISPR-Cas9 to create floxed alleles with LOX-P regions flanking the gene on each side. Then we'll mate them with mice harboring Cree driven by bone marrow cell-specific promoters. Finally, for the progeny of the cross, we can observe the differences in the morphology, number of erythrocytes, and physiological symptoms of knockout mice and compare them with wild-type mice. From here, we can infer the function of the HPA1 gene.